Wow, finally a base game. Should be. Is it not working? Maybe put the volume down to like two and then we can have the music on. Alright. Hello everyone. Play Skywalker Saga. I I have played it. I don't I don't really care for that game. Um fuck it. We're just gonna do a new game. Uh put it in slot three. Cause I've already beaten like every level, and I'd rather play the campaign for you guys. So that's what we're gonna do today. This bug was uh, fix that. Oops, my bad. Chief, go contribute a video to Brennan's 10 year expanded universe project. It's like five questions. He'll probably die of happiness if you send him something. Uh, I don't know who that is, but uh, if you DM me later, Marcel, I'll definitely give that a look. So anyway, I didn't have any particular, like, subject on my mind. I just was bored. Um, I, I, I'm working on a video. I've gotten a bit of editing done on it. Um, but now I actually need to, like, record. And I'm going to wait until tomorrow to do that for reasons. Um, so in the meantime, here we are. Playing a, uh, playing a beautiful, wonderful game that I was way too mean to, and now I kind of like. So we're gonna, we're gonna play it. But how are you all doing? Want a full game version of the Army Assault Moon in this game? Yeah. Thoughts on the Bad Batch Season 3? Of course someone's gonna ask me that. Uh, it's the same as always. That's all I can really say. It's just the same. There, there was a new episode today, though, which I haven't seen. So I'll probably watch that when my roommate gets home. I, why do I keep doing that? I keep, I keep accidentally like I'm not, I'm not planning this, but like, th I think this is the second or third time now that I've like started a live stream on the day that a new Bad Batch episode dropped, and then when asked about the new Bad Batch episodes, I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen them yet. Curious. Come on. There we go. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I was me I was really mean to this game as a kid, but it's honestly pretty fun. Um, obviously way better looking than Complete Saga 2, but, you know. It's not always about looks, is it? Ah, fuck. I say it's really good, and then now I'm stuck. There we go. Ah, fuck you. Bitch ass. Oh, shit. That didn't go what I, how I wanted it to at all. Uh, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna also pull up the stream on my phone. Just to make sure that I don't miss any super chats or whatever. Belch. No. Quiet. And have not missed any so far, so I'm just gonna... May I ask what you do for a living? Uh, you're watching it right now. It's just this. My mom is very proud. Right, let's get Anakin for this. He's the one who did it in the movie. And I'm a stickler for... Ah! I forgot... Oh, wait, I need Padme. That's not Padme. It's way too good looking. Come on. Now we can ride this bad boy. There we go. Get your ass over here. This is how I beat my cats in real life. Fuck off. 
Thoughts on the Tales of the Empire trailer? Eh. I mean... Okay, I, I, you know what? Actually, yeah, I do have a couple thoughts. Um, Barris, being an Inquisitor, I like. I don't know exactly how they plan on on uh, portraying that because, like, fuck off, stop. Because, like, you know, the Inquisitors in canon are either Jedi who like willingly fell to the dark side and chose this, or they were like Jedi who were captured after the Purge and got tortured and then became Inquisitors because of you know the torture. Um, and with Barris, you have to go with a second route if you're gonna make her an Inquisitor. You can't, like, you can't have it to be that she chooses that. Because the thing is, the entire reason for what she did in the Clone Wars, bombing the Jedi Temple, is kind of, like, contingent on the fact that she's very much against what the Republic was becoming. So, the Empire is, like, like representative of everything she would fucking hate. It, it's abs It'd be absurd to me if you tried to tell me that, like... She chose to serve them willingly and wasn't like forced into it. Um, so that's that's point number one. Point number two. I have been on record saying Tales of the Jedi is like a really cool premise for a show. Like you could make multiple multiple seasons out of that. Like several several episodes per season, and like you know you basically never waste the premise because like all you'd have to do is just make it about different Jedi across the timeline and different, you know, different time periods, different, you know, different Jedi characters that we haven't met before. And you could put, you could do like fucking 20 seasons of that shit and it would never, it wouldn't, you'd never tap into the full potential of it. So the fact that we're just going, okay, yeah, six episodes for Tales of the Jedi, uh, all of which are about two characters that we know extremely well and all of which take place around the same time in the timeline. Wonderful. So... Now we're moving on to a completely different thing, and I guess Tales of the Jedi is just no more. Um, and on that front, Tales of the Jedi wasted its premise by focusing on two characters that we know a lot about. Um, which, to be fair, I mean, the Dooku-centric episodes are actually good, so at least they have that going for them. Tales of the Empire seems to be following that exact same formula. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be, but they clearly are focusing it specifically on Barris and Morgan Elsbeth of all people. <laughs> um, I think I even said in the trailer that it's going to be like two stories, so I'm assuming, yeah, we're going to get something fairly similar to that. And um, that's fucking stupid. Like, you know, I don't want them to move on from Tales of the Jedi so quickly, but if you're going to do a Tales of the Empire show, like, man, there's a lot... I mean, that you know, that covers like a 25-year span... You know, lots of different characters you could involve. Characters we've met before, characters we haven't. I mean, Tarkin, Vader, you know, shit like that. Thrawn, uh, Krennic, some Andor characters. You know, like, there's a lot to explore there. Why the fuck are we only do focusing it on, like, two characters that, like, you know, one of which nobody gives a shit about? Who the fuck cares about Morgan from Ahsoka? Um, so, yeah, not entirely pleased, but, you know, and I'm not going to watch it. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Easton for 4.99. Hey, Sheev, loved your Clone Wars. Doesn't hold up videos. Thank you. I uh, worked hard on those. Is there something I'm not doing? I'm I'm kind of like dividing my attention here. There we go. I thought I was doing it right. It's just you just need to do that three times apparently. I love when we meet new characters and then they die. And then we get a new show the next year that shows us their origin. Yep, they keep they keep doing that. It's really funny. Who gives a fuck about Morgan Elspeth? <laughs> this this like fucking cringy ass spear wielding night sister lady, um, who died by Ahsoka's hand after being really cringe for the entire show. Who gives a fuck? Um. I don't even know what her motivations are, but I guess now we're gonna go into her motivations instead of, you know, the show that she was, like, introduced for and, like, you know, centered around her character and her death. That makes sense. Alright. Do I need... I can aim. I forgot. I love aim assist. Did I get him? I don't think I got him. Jungle! Is that racist of me? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a racer. Ooh. I can't play as Windu? That's fucked. 
Yeah, and, um... Oh, also, this is something I've been saying for a long time, but, like, getting really tired of every single show having the same exact, like, Clone Wars-style animation. We could really use some fucking variety, you know? Um... You know, we got Clone Wars Bad Batch, Tales of the Jedi, now this. Um... I just want some new animation styles, you know? You know, like, Rebels... I don't even particularly like the Rebels animation style, but at least it was a fucking different style. Uh, even Resistance, you know? Yo, my man's playing the, the Clone Wars Lego game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. It's the latency on this, actually. Looks okay. Yeah. For some reason, when I do live streams, it doesn't look quite as high quality as I would like, and I'm not really sure what settings to change to fix that, but I'll figure it out eventually. Like your videos, take my money. Thank you, Choggle, for the $2 super chat. I appreciate it. I also love your profile picture. He seeks the Parmesan. Rip cooler fat. Yeah, low key. Django's way better. Especially if you've read. Did it actually just trap me in here? Or can I. There we go. I guess we're playing as Anakin. Uh. One thing I've, I thought, always thought was really funny about this particular game, like this level in the game, is that we've just already got Obi Wan and Anakin in their episode 3 styles because, like, that's what they look like throughout the Clone Wars. That's really funny to me. <laughs> Um, like, you know, you could have just made some, some Obi-Wan Anakin models for Episode 2, just for this one level. I don't think anyone would have would have complained. Okay, so I'm supposed to get a bunch of Jedi in their respective gunships. Close the door for them, because they're fucking dumb and can't do it themselves. There we go. That's right. Okay, gotta open this one. I kind of love just mindlessly killing uh, battle droids. I think it's really, really fun. Um, when I told my therapist that, she wanted me to elaborate, and I didn't. But I like it. It's very neat watching them all, you know, crumble and die and scream. Everything about this game is how little as uh, little Ahsoka there is for some reason. Um, yeah, you know, now that I think about it, there are very few levels that actually feature her. Um, that's interesting. I guess Dave Filoni wasn't very heavily involved in this project. Sheev, buy a bunch of Lego and do these battles IRL. You know, I could, uh, but the thing is, no. What I thought your comment was about to suggest was that I just get a bunch of different LEGO games from, like, other franchises. Uh, which I'm thinking about doing, just because I like playing LEGO games. Um, but I don't always want it to just be LEGO Star Wars. Um, because that, get, that gets old after a while. I mean, like, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, LEGO Batman, that's that sort of thing. Early Clone Wars Ahsoka is annoying as fuck. Yeah. I don't know that anyone really disagrees with that statement. Uh, let's see. Who's Joe? Uh, you got hit. Hey, you got me. You, 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 you got me. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> um. Right, so we've beaten Geonosis. Now it's gonna, like, the levels are gonna di diverge into three different uh, paths we could take. So I'm gonna let you guys decide uh, who I should follow uh, next Ventress, Grievous, or Dooku. Um, I don't have any kind of voting system set up, 
I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on chat and see what you guys say. And if I can't get a clear answer out of you, then I'll just fucking pick. <laughs> you should get Lego Gwimbly. <laughs> uh, I fucking love Gwimbly from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to say what no one else will. Uh, America's got a fucking fentanyl problem. Okay, it looks like the overwhelming uh, vote is Grievous. So, obviously I'm going Ventress. Nice. Nice. Alright, Grievous it is. Let's do this. Do Ventress because she's in the public eye right now. Oh, man. I don't. We're going to Rusan. Oh, this is... I love this one. This is... My f one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> Woohoo! When I tried to stream this with Madvocate, we followed the Grievous storyline, so I, I, I thought maybe chat would be a little more original and, and pick the other one this time, but nope. We're just going for... we're just doing Grievous. So that's fine. What was that about there being very little Ahsoka? She would pick Ventress because of character design. <laughs> I think Grievous has a better character design. What do you mean? Let's see. She loves democracy. That is correct. Generous grievance. Yay, we're playing as a Suki. Ah. Ouch. Um, what else is, like, happening, like, around the time, like, at, around the time this is coming out, as if this isn't live? Um, like, Star Wars news-wise, I guess. You got, you got Tales of the Empire. Bad Batch is a thing that exists. Um, I'm told Rampart is in it, like, in, like, imprisoned. If you guys even know who that is, because, like, he's such a nothing character. Um, in a nothing show that I, I would be willing to bet most of you haven't even seen. But apparently he shows up. Um, I guess he's gonna be how they find Omega. Cause she- So, for any of you who haven't been watching the show, um, the season- The, the finale of last season had Omega get captured, um, and taken to Mount Tantis from the fucking Thrawn trilogy. They've canonized that. Um... And then she was there with Crosshair, and then they busted out together. I forgot what I'm supposed to- oh yeah, I know what I'm supposed to do, hang on. Uh, they busted out together, they reunited with the Bad Batch, Crosshair's been with them for the whole season. It's been really wholesome and, and wonderful. Um, and then, in the most recent episode that I watched, the one that came out last week, fucking Omega gets captured again? Uh, taken back to Tantus, and just like at the end of the last season, the, none of the characters know uh, where Tantus is or how to find her, so they're up a creek, just like last time. It's like we're at the exact same place we were at the beginning of the season. The only difference is that uh, um, Crosshair's with them. It's so funny. And also, oh my god, so the plan that Omega came up with, right, was like, okay, cool. So, basically their, their village... Their, like, peaceful village that they were taking sanctuary in was being attacked by the Empire. And so Omega was like, I'm gonna give myself up uh, to spare these people's lives. And then she's with Crosshair, right? She's like, and I want you to, uh, like, put a tracker on me and then follow me to Tantus. And he was like, obviously they're gonna search you for a tracker, so, like, we can't do that. And she's like, okay. Well, then, as the ship that's carrying me takes off, you need to, like, use your sniper rifle and shoot one onto the ship. And Crosshair's like, that's a really stupid idea. And I'm like, thank you, Crosshair. And then he's like, but I'm going to help you with it anyway. And then, so they try to do that. And so here's the thing. They've been setting up this thing where, like, I guess, like, Crosshair has, like, trauma or anxiety. So, like, his hands have been shaking, which has been making it hard for him to aim properly. And that's, like, his one thing is that he's really good as a sharpshooter. So I thought they were setting that up for this moment. 
right? Like in the in the in the in the key moment where he needed to shoot the tracker onto the ship, uh, which by the way ships can fucking scan for that sort of thing and detect it. So like, they would whatever. It's it's a stupid plan, but like so I thought like that's what they were setting up for that. But then he like gets attacked by by the I, like the mysterious clone trooper guy who's totally not tech. Um, and, like, that's what causes him to fuck up and miss the ship. And it's like, you set up this thing. This, like, specific thing that's happening with his character. And you didn't even follow through with that. <laughs> what? I don't understand. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> that was a stupid plan. Never would have worked. And the fact that it didn't even tie into the character was, like, when they had all the opportunity in the world to do just that. Like, I don't, I don't understand why these people just don't know how to write. I don't understand. Like, And then people are like, oh my god, the cinnamon roll, the small bean, crosshair. I love him so much. And I'm like, but he's not a character, though. <laughs> this is coming out of my fentanyl font. <laughs> Thank you, sweaty men liker, for the $2 super chat. That's a very tasteful name as well. Um, Yeah, this show is just allergic to, like, developing its characters and I don't understand why I'm in such a minority on like like when I see like on Twitter people people hate my my bad batch takes and my, specifically my crosshair take and I'm like what what is there what like what do you think is good about this I'm genuinely curious like I want to know what totally not tech so like the, the joke is that like it seems pretty obvious that he's tech I don't know. Maybe he isn't. I don't know. But, like, he really seems like he's tech. <laughs> um, and everyone's like, no, they're not gonna do that. That'd be stupid. And I'm and, uh, and I'm just like, I don't know. They might. Might be tech. I think the point is that Crosshair is going to make it later. No, so you, you missed my point. My point is, he misses the shot in, the, in, like, the criti like, in the critical moment, and that would have been, like, the, the second act low point version of that arc. And then, like, at the end of his arc, you could have him make a shot um, in, like, a pivotal moment when, like, that's necessary for success. And, like, that could be the payoff. But they didn't even do that. They had an external thing be the reason that he fucked up in the moment. It, it wasn't because of his character or, like, his internal struggle. I, I don't understand why they wouldn't just do that. It's, it's right there. Like, I predicted it. And it, like, that that was going to be how they do it. And, like, a sort of, like, oh, the obvious thing that they're going to... Like, obviously they're going to do that. And then they didn't even do that. And it's so bizarre. Since we haven't seen him at all since season two. Uh... She talks, to be fair, the Batch characters aren't really characters. They're tropes. Exactly. I mean, they're not... Name one personality trait about Hunter... Like, name one character trait that Hunter has. Seriously, please. Someone name at least one character trait that Hunter has. And if you say, you know, he's, like, battle-hardened or whatever, or, like, experienced, like, yeah, fucking all the clones are. That's not a character trait. Hunter's entire character is he's the dad. He's the, he's the dad who doesn't want to fight. He can smell good. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you, buddy. Hunter can sniff. It's so funny how, like, inconsistently they remember that he has that power. That he can, like, sense the electromagnetic field of a planet. Um, which is such a interesting and cool power, by the way. But, like, sometimes he has it and sometimes they just forget about it. It's, it's to the point where, like, whenever he actually does use it in the show, I'm like, how the fuck does he... Oh, yeah, he knows that because he should know that. I just forgot because they fucking always forget that he has that power. Rex is so fucking useless in this game. Come on. It's the Plinket TPM review thing, but it actually applies here. Yes! <laughs> name one character... Like, seriously, I want, I'd, I'd want to ask those people to name even one trait that Hunter has because like in that in this one he actually doesn't have any it, what what Plinkett accuses Qui-Gon of not having Hunter actually doesn't have that was really dumb by the way what was really dumb I'm stupid I'm kind of I'm 
my focus is like, you know, torn between this and the chat. I'm gonna fucking kill that mouse droid, you ready? Rex, shoot at the fucking mouse droid. Okay. So obvious that Omega is force sensitive. I I still don't know if that's what they're trying to set up. I to be honest, I don't think they are. Um, where the fuck did Ahsoka go? Oh, she's right. God damn it, I'm blind. I need her because Rex is fucking useless against droids in this game. For some, you know the the clone soldier who's bred specifically to fight battle droids. He's useless against <laughs> battle droids. It's wonderful. Chief, do you think Skeleton Crew will be good? That's assuming it even comes out. Like, I would be amazed if it actually even fucking came out at this point. You'll, you'll notice how, like, it was originally slated to come out before the Acolyte this year. And then, like, Lucasfilm just kind of pretended that they never said that. And now they're, like, marketing the Acolyte and they're like, Yep, that's the next, that's the next show. And you're like, uh, pretty sure you forgot something, bud. Where, what happened to, what happened to Skeleton Crew? What, where, where'd that go? The gold droids are helpful in this level, yeah. I know. That's why I had... Or at least I had one following me around. I don't know if he's still here. The whole hunter being able to sense anything on the planet, I thought it was kind of odd. I thought uh, it'd at least have, uh, have some point where he'd stop being able to sense things. I mean, I don't know. Like, I just want them to do literally anything with what they've established about the character. Which is so little... Daigon, why are you fucking adding me on Twitter? What is this? Thank you. <laughs> Here, Shiva, have you read Old Wounds? Yeah, yeah, you're talking about the comic that, um, was never actually technically canon. Um, the one where Darth Maul, like, finds Obi-Wan right after Revenge of the Sith, and, like, oh, fucking Uncle Owen kills him. <laughs> Actually, a pretty good comic, I won't lie. Like, I'll make fun of it, because, like, it's funny that Uncle Owen kills Darth Maul. But, like, it's 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 pretty good. From what I remember. And it's also very clear that Dave Filoni, like, read that comic and based the entire concept of Darth Maul's robot legs off of it. Which he even said as much, so it's not like I'm... This isn't some kind of, like, conspiracy theory. Like, he's literally said that. Ah, go on there, you fucker. Maybe this is Cobium, but I think Skeleton Crew might be neat. Just because it's more original idea than some of the other Disney Plus stuff. So, the thing about Skeleton Crew is that, like, I didn't know necessarily what it was or what it would be about. Um, when I first heard about it, and I, I just didn't keep up with it for a long time, so I was like, I don't know, it might be something. And then I found out it's going to be set in the Mandoverse, so, nah. It's not going to be good. It can't possibly be good unless it completely just separates itself from the rest, which you know it won't. Uh, opinions on Tales of the Empire based on what we've seen so far. I talked about that earlier, you can go back if you want to see. I'm not going to... It. Uh, but, 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 uh. Uncle Owen could kill all characters, that's why he was nerfed. That's true, actually. Like you drained his father. Uh, I forgot, yeah, this is the episode where Anakin abandons Ahsoka to fight General Grievous all by herself so that he can go rescue R2-D2, and that's never, like, meaningfully addressed in the show. Also, what do you think about uh, the death of Tenebris and his plan to possess the Chosen One? I like Tenebris. I think he's cool. And I think the Darth Plagueis novel is probably, like, in terms of all Star Wars media put together, the Plagueis novel is fucking peak, dude. Better, better than the OT, better than Andor. It's just peak. Um, that scene is, of course, the first scene minus the 
the prologue that takes place, like, after Palpatine kills Plagueis. Um, and it's a really nice, like, you know, setting the stage for what's to come. Uh, James Lucino never fucking misses. He will never, he will never fuck up. He will never write a bad book in his life. He's still alive, right? I don't, I've not been keeping up with James Lucino. Um, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Do you like a sequel trilogy show for a uh, show to better flesh out that that era of Star Wars and fix the issues like the Clone Wars did with the prequels? Hmm. <laughs> um, well, if you have been following me for any significant period of time, you'd know that I don't think the Clone Wars fixed the prequels or that it even could have fixed the prequels. That's just not how that works. Uh, but in terms of, like, fleshing out the sequel era better in a show, like... I guess I, I guess I could see that. It's just like, it's it's kind of hard to fix, right? Like, there's nothing really you can do about most of the major issues. You you just have to decanonize a lot of it, and you can't do that. So the best the best you can do is like I don't know, fucking spray a fire extinguisher over a volcanic eruption and see what you can do. Sequels are a lost cause. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Call me a pessimist. Like, I, I, I've thought about it before. You know, like, oh, what would I do if, like, I was tasked with writing a show to try to, like, fucking fix the, the sequel trilogy? And, like, the more I really, like, sat down and thought about it, the more I was like, I just couldn't. Like, I'd have to just rip this shit up and, like, start from the beginning. Can't fix any trilogy with supplementary material if the trilogy itself sucks. Exactly. I don't think the Clone Wars fixed the prequels. I don't think they, it could have, even if it actually was good, which, you know, it's not. Because um, that's just not how that works. They need to stand on their own. And by the way, I I said that in my video, and I had people saying, like, oh, no, obviously they, the films shouldn't stand on their own, because they obviously, like, you know, are, are meant to be sequential with each other, like, one through six. And I'm like, yeah, obviously, like... You know, fucking Attack of the Clones is allowed to lean itself on the Phantom Menace a little bit. When I say the films need to stand on their own, I mean the films. Like, all together. Not fucking, oh, Attack of the Clones should just work by itself and not rely on having any information from the Phantom Menace or the, you know, the, the OT or anything like that. Obviously, the films are meant to, to, to be watched, you know, in tandem with each other. girlfriend got the Plagueis novel and she read uh she reads it to me because my blind ass struggles to read the front uh read the font rather well you see I'm, I'm bad at reading too so you know I ever tell you guys I'm dyslexic I don't like it's not really something that I just like advertise or anything but yeah I have dyslexia and it makes it really fucking hard to read you guys' chats but I'm doing my best <laughs> Droid fight. Peak Star Wars. Only film that works on its own is A New Hope. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I would say, like, if you'd never seen any Star Wars before and, like, you sat down and watched The Empire Strikes Back, that you'd still follow it perfectly fine. But, like, it is meant to be watched with the understanding that you've seen A New Hope. Because, obviously, it's a sequel to A New Hope. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um... I would even say the same thing for probably any of the movies in the uh, in the original saga, the first six ones. Like, you know, you could watch Revenge of the Sith without having seen... Oh, there you fucking are. I was wondering where R2 was. You could watch Revenge of the Sith without having seen any of the movies, and you'd probably understand it pretty well. It's not really that hard to follow. Oh, this is the part I fucked up on a lot last time. I don't know if this is, like, a problem that anyone else has in this game, but, like... It's hard to get R2 to fly. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just fucking terrible at this. Okay. I don't understand. In the in the complete saga, it's so easy. But in this one, you have to, like... There you go. Ah, fuck. You should have a, a text-to-speech reading every single comment for convenience. 
I could, but that would be extremely fucking overwhelming, so no. There we go. Yoshi, you've imagined if an upcoming Mandoverse project, Filoni, uh, if in, a, in an upcoming Mandoverse project, Filoni writes a scene where his character shares a scene with Ahsoka. Oh. <laughs> and what, they like make out? That'd be, that'd be really funny, actually. Dave's wife is like watching it and she's like, so why did you, um, you wrote this episode? And he's like, yeah. She's like, so, so what, what, why? He's just, well, you know, it's, I just felt it was within character for both of these characters to, uh, you know, because they have so much chemistry. Uh-huh. I think that would be really funny. I nearly rage quit this portion. It's not that hard. It's just, it's, it's just when you can't fucking, why am I still playing as Ahsoka when Anakin exists? It's, it's just, yeah, when you're trying to get him to fly and for some reason the controls aren't letting you do it properly, it's weird. And I don't know if that's just, like, a problem with my copy of the game, or if a lot of people have this problem. Oh, hey, Noah. Glad to see you, uh, you've stopped by. We were talking about Gwimbly earlier. I know he's your favorite character ever. Lux cheating on his wife. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if Dave Filoni made himself, like, the live-action Lux Von Terry. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be amazing. I need to get into a Vulture Droid. There we go. Man, that's cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> my favorite my favorite little joke is like that like for free despite the fact that he said that he would charge them for it initially for free he gave them two free ooh, ooh, oohs but then when someone actually like asked him to say that in a cameo he did he just, like gave the most non-committal ooh, ooh, ooh. I fucking love Gwimbly. he's the greatest character ever written in all of fiction um he's so amazing <laughs> Smiling Friends is so fucking good. I tried showing my roommate that show, and he was not into it, because it's like, you know, really fast-paced, sort of just like, balls-to-the-wall style humor. It's not everyone's thing, I get that. But it's really funny, and I love it. <laughs> what direction would you take Lucasfilm if, uh, in if you were uh, put in charge? Like, in a realistic way, not just, I'd recanonize all of Legends. Yeah, I guess that's a good, that's a good, like, uh, limiter that you've made. Because, like, you know, obviously my answer would be something like, oh, I would decanonize basically everything except these, the six films and Andor and, and Rogue One. Um, realistically, like, if I had to keep all of canon, then I would just completely ignore the sequel trilogy era entirely. I, if I was going to set anything, like, after Rise of Skywalker, it would be, like, way, way after, like, probably hundreds of years later. Just, just completely avoid all of that, because no, there's nothing, there's nothing that would work. Um, you know, at best you could maybe do something with Grogu as a character, like, 300 years down the line, because then you can make him an actual character, right? Um, but otherwise that, like, the sequels and the Mandoverse, I'm just fucking ignoring, because why the fuck would I touch those? Um... So then I'd maybe I'd mainly probably want to separate like um, focus uh, stories on like way before the films like Old Republic era probably or High Republic era, um, which I know is a basic answer, but like at this point, really, what can you do? There's just not much left to work with in the sandbox. There's no there's barely any sand left. Make Kotor three, Sheev. I will. I'll make it just for you, uh, David Brooks Productions. Oh, there's a new X-Men today? I, man, I still haven't watched the show. Because I'm, I'm going to watch the animated series first, which I've never seen. Um, do I need it? There we go. But yeah, man, like, it looks really good from everything I've seen online, and I really want to check it out. Um, that and Invincible Season 2 have, like, proven to me that, like, the future of comic book media is adult animated shows. 
not even adult animated. I don't know. I don't know how adult the X Men show is, but like, it does deal with like more complex topics than I, I think you tech you you would typically see in something like Spectacular Spider Man. <laughs> that that's not even fair. Spectacular Spider Man handles uh, somewhat deep concepts as well. Uh, you're a very analytical reviewer who focuses on writing. Uh, not a bad thing. Uh, so I'm curious, is there any media you enjoy just for dumb fun? Oh, there's a lot of things I enjoy just for dumb fun. Um, for one thing, a lot of Star Wars. <laughs> um, but, let's see, I like, I like Spongebob, and I, and you know what? I'm not even saying that Spongebob is poorly written, because there are a lot of really great jokes in that show. Um, but I do just kind of put it on to, like, mindlessly entertain myself. I don't, I don't sit there and, like, critically analyze Spongebob, because why would I? I don't, I don't care nearly enough to, like, do that. Um, again, that's not even to say it's, like, a badly written show or anything. It's just not something that I'm gonna, like, you know, be like, oh, man, this was, like, a plot hole and this, this, and this, and that. No. Um, and, and stuff like that. Transformers, Yeah. I've been watching through those with C, and, like, uh, to be fair, there are a lot of them that I'm, I don't even enjoy ironically. Like, I'm just kind of sitting there miserably waiting for it to be over. But, like, the, the ones that are really funny, like, and, like, easy to enjoy, you know, like, the, those are the ones that I can get into. Like, um, I think the third one I was genuinely enjoying right up until, like, the third act when the final battle happened. And then they did a lot of really weird things, like, that just took me out of it. But, like, yeah, Transformers is, is one of those. Wouldn't Smiling Friends be like that, too? I mean, yeah, you can enjoy it as dumb fun, but, like, it is genuinely, like, so profoundly written when you actually look at, like, you know, at the themes and the subtext. It's not just something to put on when you're bored, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's just an actual genuinely great show. Uh, which Transformers do I like? I like the first one, uh, even though it's not really very good. How do I land again? I forgot. If I hit Y. Yeah, I hit Y. You know, like, there are just a lot of things, like Batman and Robin. Why am I playing as Plo Koon? Fucking love that movie. It's so bad. Uh, The Room, obviously. You know, shit like that. Movies that are so bad, they're good. Oh, this is the Malevolence arc. That's right. Cosmonaut Picture Shows Transformers episodes. Yeah. Yeah, like, if I'm going to watch those, typically I'm going to document them. Even if I don't ever upload them. Like, I'm just going to at least have them documented. Which I have. I've screen recorded all of my wa my watches with uh, C. And I just have them saved in my computer. Probably never going to do anything with them, but it's at least they're there, you know? Uh, oh, the other one's up there. My bad. My dumbass. Where's the thing? Here's the thing. If you watch The Walking Dead, I think the first three seasons and, and season five are really good, but seasons four and six onward got progressively worse. Uh, they really need to have some kind of overarching plan. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's all bad. Like, I've only watched, to be fair, I've only watched uh, the first three seasons, but that's when I gave up with season three. I was really, really not enjoying it. Um, it just, it's one of those shows that doesn't know what to do with its premise and prioritizes shock value over actual, like, character drama and stakes and things like that. You know, like, um,. Oop, we need to we need to keep people engaged. So let's have a random fucking zombie attack now, out of nowhere. Oh, let's have a character die just to like, you know, make everyone sad for 20 minutes, and then we'll move on. It's shit like that. I just don't. You know, if you want a good if you want a good show about like the zombie apocalypse, the Last of Us is right there. Um, the TV show that is obviously. I know it's a game. It's a, it's a pretty good show. Got a. Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey being awesome. Um, it actually deals with, like, themes about um, humanity and, like, what it really means to be a monster and, like, what you're willing to do 
um, you know, when the ships are down, like that sort of thing. And like, that's the kind of thing that I look for in a zombie apocalypse story. Um, but you know, that's just me. Not everyone's the same. Walking Dead is one of those shows that I kind of just can't take seriously because it doesn't really take itself seriously in the way that I think it would need to, if that makes any sense. I don't... It, you almost get the sense in a lot of a lot of places that it, like, almost isn't sure about itself. It doesn't know if it wants to go as far as I think it probably needs to. I don't know. It's also been a long time since I watched it because I just don't care about Walking Dead. And now they have, like, all these, like, spin-offs that I'm just like, why is this franchise still going? Why, why is this happening? Okay, I need to, like, a, do I need to pull, like, a lever or something? Ah. Finally at that point in my live stream where my fucking throat starts to hurt and I realize that I'm probably going to need to wrap this up within an hour. Taking a sip of my drink. Ah. Okay, I'm pretty sure the lever's over here somewhere. Follow the coin trail. There we go. Zombies are way too stupid to last. Yeah. That's the thing about, like, you know, when you watch The Last of Us, the zombies really don't matter as much as the factions and the people and, and you know, the... You know, like, the zombies are obviously there, and they're a threat, but, like, compared to, like, compared to the actual, like, interesting characters, they're not really anything. And that's fine, because they're not supposed to be. Oh, what am I... Was there something else I was supposed to do down there? Oh. Okay, hang on, sorry. I'm trying to fucking focus on, like, a bunch of different things at once. I thought pulling that lever would take the shield down, but it didn't. Is there something else I'm supposed to do? Worst Star Wars show? Ahsoka. And that's coming from, like, the biggest fucking Kenobi hater out there. Ahsoka's worse. I'm gonna say what no one else is willing to say. This game is way better than The Walking Dead. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say what no one else is willing to say. America's got a fentanyl problem. What else am I supposed to fucking do? Am I dumb? Is there somewhere else to land? Fun fact, George Romero hated The Walking Dead. That is a fun fact. Uh... Peak Soka. Exactly. Andrew gets it. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I feel like when I was playing this just by myself and not trying to focus on chat, I was able to figure this level out, like, really easily. But here we are. My dumb ass just flying around. Oh, guys, I'm, re I'm referencing Smiling Friends when I say the, the fentanyl thing. I, I, I'm, I'm referencing Peak. I'm referencing Gwimbley. the fuck am I supposed to do? Do I need to wait? I don't know why that'd be what I need to do, but maybe that is what I need to do. Help me out, chat. What Do you, do you guys fucking know what I'm supposed to do? <clears throat> what, you, what too much YouTube chat does to a person? Exactly. What's over here? I know there's nothing important over here, but I want to check it out anyway. Ah. <clears throat> Ahsoka was great. What do you mean? She learned that living is better than dying. <laughs> that's true. She did learn that. I'm going to go back down here, get more proton torpedoes. I feel like that's probably what I need. My dumb ass is just not paying enough attention to figure that out. Shoot the reshield generators. Uh, will? Wait, hang on, Noah. Is, are you telling me that uh, Jason Isaacs is in Tales of the Empire? 
Because I'm pretty sure that is not who's playing the Grand Inquisitor. Like, I, I can't be certain about that. Um, but, like, just by hearing his voice, that does not fucking sound like him to me. Oh, I was... I just needed to shoot these? Is that it? Fucking Christ. Well... <sighs> I, I just assumed those were undestroyable, but all right. Um, yes, there's a Tales of the Empire. It's so funny to me how, like, few people actually know about that. Like, Lucasfilm just, like, drops things now, and nobody, nobody cares. Nobody talks about it. Ouch, it's really funny. I choose to live is framed as a proud moment, and yet it makes no sense because of course she needs to live in order to rescue Ezra. Well, you don't know. Maybe she was feeling particularly depressed and decided that dying was better than saving her friend. Or stopping Thrawn. Or, you know, saving the fucking galaxy. You don't know. Everyone has a battle that you can't see. Is how the old saying goes, I think. I <laughs> make the decision not to be not unalive. <laughs> they lose too much money from advertising, so they just announce stuff randomly. Yeah, like I asked, I talked to C about. They just really like obliterated my proton torpedoes, huh? I I talked to C about that because like, uh, if you guys don't know who that is, he's he's a great channel. The C, you should look him up. He does like Pirates of the Caribbean and Indiana Jones shit. Anyway, I was talking to him about it. Because, like, it, it, it baffled me that they just weren't marketing their shows. And I asked him why, and he was like, well, at this point, like, they just can't. They can't afford to. Because nobody fucking cares about their shit anymore. They're losing money on Disney+. Plus, So, of course, they're not advertising their shows. Because they know that they're not gonna... That's, like, not a good return investment. That, like, they know they're not gonna get, um, that money back. So they'd rather just not do it. And just watch the show flop. And that's so sad, because <laughs> this is fucking Star Wars, and it should never be like that for Star Wars. You know? Not to sound like a fucking boomer-ass old man, but back in my day, when a fucking, when a new Star Wars movie came out, every, like, the fucking theater was lined up around the block, you know? I've been watching a lot of, like, uh, behind-the-scenes Phantom Menace, uh, stuff recently, like, people lined up, you know, calling into work to go see that movie. They were so excited. Um, you know. And then, of course, the movie sucked, and a lot of people were disappointed by it. But the point is, that, like, back in that day, people, like, got... S people fucking prioritized Star Wars over, like, the economy. Like, 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 businesses were, were estimating a significant drop in, uh, economic profits on the day that that movie came out, because they're just how many people were gonna, like, skip work to go see that movie. You just, you don't see that kind of shit anymore for Star Wars. You would, no one would ever fucking do that for one of the new movies or the shows. Fucking Mandalorian and Grogu's coming out in 2026. That theater, like, there's not gonna be a single packed theater, I promise you. I figured there was something I was supposed to do down here, but I don't think there is. Or if there is, then I'm stupid and I'm missing it. So I'm just gonna get back in my ship, get some more proton torpedoes, and blow something up. TFA to now, it's a free fall. Exactly. I mean, it literally is. People like to boast about, like, how much money the sequels made. Um, as if, you know, because, like, obviously, like, relative to a lot of other movies that were coming out at the time... Or just movies in general. Like, you look at the numbers for, like, Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker, and you're like, yeah, those made a lot of money. And then you look at it from the from the perspective of, like, yeah, but this is Star Wars. You know? This is, like, one of the most popular movie franchises ever made. And, like, you know, counting for inflation, they should be making a lot more money than we're seeing. Um... Like, people boast about it, and I'm like, I don't know, man. 
Every single one of these movies would should have cleared two billion easily. Easily. Yeah, TFA did make over two billion, and it's the only one that did. I think. I'd, I'd have to check again, but I'm pretty sure it's the only one. Yeah, I don't understand why the Mandalorian Grogu movie is happening. <laughs> Who fucking asked for something like that? Which, by the way, I don't ever like to criticize a thing by like, oh, no one asked for this, but like... Mandalorian and Grogu. Like, how did they ever think making a movie about that would be a good idea? Whose idea was that? <laughs> that level was way easier and simpler than I was making it out to be, but I was just so distracted talking about the downfall of Disney Star Wars, as I always do, as every single one of these streams inevitably devolves into. The <laughs> Mandalorian and Grogu is not a real project. I refuse to believe it exists. Eh, I could believe it's like a front for some kind of like fucking child trafficking operation or something. Dave asked for it. But I guess they decided to give it to him. Who asked for Andor? I mean, yeah, exactly. That's why I don't typically like to make that uh, criticism, because, like, who, who the fuck cares who asked for it? It's good. Um, or at least it could be good. Or whatever. But, like, that that movie... or Yeah, that... Is, you're just like, why? Does anyone even still like The Mandalorian Show? I don't... I don't keep up with general consensus these days. I'm sure people still probably like it. I don't know. People like Ahsoka, so... People like Kenobi. Alright, we're gonna fucking destroy Malevolence, let's go! Money- <laughs> Money laundering ass movie. <laughs> Star Wars The Clone Wars does not hold up. 18 plus Watto movie. <laughs> Baby Yoda money. I mean, did, but that's the thing is like I understand that Baby Yoda was like a huge sensation back when the show first came out, um, and they sold a shit ton of toys. Like I can believe that fully, but like, do, is, does that still happen? Do, like, do people still care that much about Grogu? I, mean, I don't think so. I, I I highly fucking doubt it. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. What did Noah say? I saw your fucking comment. I want to see. Shit's gone. Oh well. Sorry, Noah. Season 3 killed it. Yeah, I mean... I don't think either... I don't think any season of Mando is good. But, like... The first two seasons are like... I can see why a lot of people gravitate toward this. Season 3 has none of that, though. Oh, this level. Fuck, I remember this one. Who up destroying the malevolence? Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Cuteness only goes so far on Grogu was just cuteness for the sake of it. Yep. He is not a character, and like, I mean, obviously he's not, he's a baby, but like, I don't know. There's there's stuff that you can do with a baby that they, beyond just, oh, look at how cute he is, oh, what a baby, oh god. Small bean, you know, like, there's more to it than that, or at least there could be. I forgot how to beat this one. Where does one get this game? I don't know, I got it on Steam cost like 10 bucks. Imagine if Temple of Doom came out today. Am I about to deliver a hot take by saying it's a bad movie? Because I because I know that like people in my friend group agree with me on that, but like I don't believe... Where the fuck is R2? I don't believe that's a popular opinion. Where 
the fuck is R2? Oh, he's still over there, the dumb fuck. Din isn't really a character either. His whole thing is just guy who looks like Boba Fett. I mean, okay. I agree. Like, he's basically just the audience insert character the entire time. For all three seasons. At least in seasons one and two, he had a bit of agency. And, and at this point, he has nothing. I hate that. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, a Jedi can for- that's what we're doing, okay. Shut Sheev down. Ahsoka Offy show? Why? What would even be the point of that? Aren't they basically gonna close up that storyline in Tales of the Empire? Come on, R2. No, no, you have OCD. Okay. Imagine instead of The Mandalorian being a show, it was a game. I feel like it'd be better as a game. Yeah, I agree. And they were gonna make it a game, but then they didn't. Curiously enough. Or, I mean, I worded that poorly. They were they were planning to make a Mandalorian game, and then they didn't. And I don't know why. Because, like, remember, they announced it and then just immediately fucking canceled it. I have no idea what the point of that was. Okay. No, stop. Where are the trains? MTTs in this ship? I don't know what an MTT is. Now, I'm not talking about 1313. I, like, that's obviously, like, a thing that everyone knows about. But, like, recently they announced, like, a... Okay. Like, a Mandalorian game. Um, and then, like, within a week or two, they had been like, Yeah, it's not actually happening anymore. Fuck it. It's like, I don't know what the point was of that, but... You know? So what am I supposed to do? Oh, thank you, Darkington, for the 199. I guess that's a super thanks. I don't know what things are. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this. There we go, that's something. Okay. Alright. Eh. Cool. Very cool. Ooh, a tw uh, super chat, hang on. I'm gonna pause it for this one. <laughs> Boy, Sheev. I was thinking, and you know, what would have been, uh, what would have, what, what, uh, See, what well, would have made Duel of the Droids better? Having Goldie not be a spy, only an inexperienced droid and something to prove, and him surviving becomes Ahsoka and becomes Ahsoka's droid. 
I guess. I mean, again, my argument has always been like... My argument has always been like, you know, just make him an actual competent droid. And then, thematically, the only thing we're left with for Anakin's character is like, well... He only hates Goldie because he's not R2, not because there's actually anything wrong with him. But yeah, that one would have worked too. Oh. Alright, what am I supposed to fucking do? I remember this really frustrating me the first time, but I think... Now that I've done it before, it's probably not going to be as rage-inducing. Come on. Eh. You guys are all here for my riveting commentary, I know. I'm just trying to- oh, fuck off. Come on. Go where I want you to, what the fuck? There we go. Yeah, the force mechanic in this game is a bit iffy. It's just, it, you know, it's actually a really cool idea, I think. It works better, theoretically, than, like, what they do in the Complete Saga, but, like, they just kind of, they, they kind of need to iron it out a little bit. It doesn't really work. Have I done everything that Obi-Wan needs to do, or is there something I'm missing still? Help me out, chat. I, I, I don't really remember this level. Ah! Sheev, do you think the Patterson cut made Obi-Wan at least watchable? Yeah. You know, I've said before that, like, it's still not good because it's based on, a mo like, a story that just can't work, but, like, it's way better than the show. Cuts out all, all the bullshit. Or a lot of the bullshit, anyway. Um... I'm assuming there's still more to do for Obi-Wan, because otherwise it would be shining... It'd be like flashing the icon to change into Anakin. And I don't want to change into Anakin until I'm sure that I've done everything that I can as Obi-Wan. What are your thoughts on the Umbara arc? Personally, I think it's ridiculously overrated. Uh, it throws out any actual interesting themes, ideas and of moral complexity in favor of Pong Krell is just evil. Yeah, that's my thoughts. Um... You guys should definitely check out my my Clone Wars videos if you haven't. I go over a lot of these in that. But that's generally what I think about the uh, the Umbara arc. A lot of interesting concepts and themes and ideas and that ca that get completely fumbled by making Krell actually evil. Alright, I'm going to change into Anakin because it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do as Obi-Wan. Anakin flashing into Vader in the, is the greatest shot in Star Wars. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's perfect. It's great. It's awesome. So what the fuck am I not doing? Oops. There seems to be something I still need to do as Obi-Wan, and I can't figure it out. Wait, I think I remember. This is what threw me off last, last time, because I'd already done the R2 thing. And it wasn't indicating that I needed to do it again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Oh, 
Crow was genuinely a cool character, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, you know, despite my issues with making him evil, I still think he's a cool character. Um, you know, he's the kind of love-to-hate-him kind of character. Which I think works pretty well for a show about the Clone Wars. You know, you wanna... You don't want every Jedi to be this likable saint, and I think overall that show did a pretty good job with that. Why did she run into the electricity? Is he stupid? Yes. That is just an objective fact about me that you guys should all figure out by now. What are your uh, thoughts on Star Wars games overall, past and modern? I just haven't played a lot of them because I don't really play a lot of games. Um, so, like... The extent of my Star Wars game knowledge is like Lego Star Wars, basically. Um, oh, dumbass. But, um, what I will say about the ones that I have played, um, Force Unleashed is really fun, but it's a bad story. Um, the Lego games are pretty good. Force, Lego Force Awakens is not good, though, and neither is Skywalker Saga. Um, let's see, what else have I played? Battlefront, pretty cool. Um, haven't played much of KOTOR because I just really don't care. Sorry. <laughs> I know it's like everyone's favorite, but like, you know, it's, I'm not even saying it's bad or anything. It's just not something that I'm willing to put so much time into trying to fucking play. Hello. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was distracted by someone coming into my room. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Some kind of... Some kind of... Some kind of thing. Jedi Fallen Order is pretty good. I haven't played it. I don't know. What the fuck am I not doing right? How the fuck am I supposed to line this up? Fuck you, Daigon. I was distracted. No, I understand that part, but it's not angling right. I'm just dumb. You're just gonna have to be patient with me. Sorry, I'm reading the chat. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no.
the more pissed off you guys are getting is making it better for me. Oh god, I'm fucking stupid. Hang on. I I get it now. Sorry. <laughs> Bait or mental retardation, you decide. Uh, dude4192, thank you for the super chat for five dollars. Just started watching and have been enjoying your content. Wanted to know what your favorite Star Wars game was, if you have any. Uh, hmm. Probably Complete Saga, just for like nostalgic reasons. to do. Oh. Come on. Sheev, will you do any stream around Arcane after Season 2 comes out? You know what, actually? I think that's a good idea. Because um, I know a lot of my friends like it, so like we could do like a stream or something. Hmm. Definitely put a fork in a microwave as a child. No, not that stupid. It was a knife. Get your facts straight. I need like a like a ship or something. Oh, wait, I can use the four. I forgot. I'm so used to Complete Saga where you have to, like, use a ship to get to those. I, I apologize. I put my hand into a light socket as a child, so I win for dumbest. You know, no. Hang on now. Don't steal my thunder. I'm objectively stupider than you. I'm in the Spoon Club myself. Whoa, buddy. Listen. Uh, don't plan on watching- I mean, well, I guess I, I'll, I'll check out the Fallout show. I'm, I haven't played basically any of the games except a little bit of New Vegas, so... I don't imagine I'm gonna really follow very much if it's, like, super lore-based, but... You know, I'll check it out, because of, you know, iconography or whatever. Fuck you, Grievous. Oh, hello. Fuck you, Daigon. 
You played this game a lot as a kid. I fucking didn't. That's good. that's gonna be my excuse for being absolutely retarded. Oh. How many actually good Star Wars movies do you figure there are? I don't know, like three, maybe. And even then, that's up that's up in the air a little bit, because like you know, Return of the Jedi has so many issues. But I don't, I don't think it's not good. Fuck you, Daigon. You're lying to me. Shut up. I am smart and capable and awesome and humble. I know what I'm doing. Where are those droid cars? Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I, I'm told Fallout 3 and 4 aren't good. Where the fuck is R2? Oh. I feel like the concept of Star Wars is better than the act. God damn it, R2. You know what? I really don't have any room to judge. Come on, R2. Where the fuck is he? Come on, R2. What are you doing? Fucking god. The real R2 was the friends we made along the way. You know what, Daigon? And another thing. You may have played this game as a kid, but you never played it in front of a live audience while trying to, like, do a bunch of things at once. I will not apologize for being a fucking moron. On, like, live and in person. Okay. Wait. I have a terrible memory. Hang on. That goes on the second one. There we go. Then red is the top one. No, stay. Stop. Red is the... T green is the bottom. There you go. Go in the bottom. This mechanic really sucks. Fucking Christ. Okay. You go over here. Move. Putting, putting red on first. Oh my god. There we go. Then we put on yellow. No guys, I'm sorry. This mechanic is fucking terrible. Come on. I didn't even need to do that, did I? Oh well. Come on. I want to see Sheev try to beat uh, Mavis Bacon. M Mavis Bacon teaches typing. I think it's <laughs> Fuck you. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it's like a kindergarten level thing, so fuck you. A lot of Doom games.
Creepio, get your slow ass over here. Kevin Kiner cooked. The music is so nostalgic. Yep. <sighs> Alright. This is gonna have to be the last level I play because you guys are being mean to me and also I need to get stuff done. Oh! I remember what this is now. Hang on. Yoshi, if you see this, I gotta sleep, man. Final question, what do you think about Vader before his, uh, his burns and injuries? My friend has a hot take saying he preferred it over Vader in the suit. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I like, I like, uh, you know, the Anakin, come on, come on, seriously, the episode three Anakin version of Vader, but, you know, nothing beats the classic. What the fuck? Come on. You guys are gonna blame me for this, but, like, I'm literally doing what I'm supposed to do here and it's being fucking stupid. There we go. Chief, can you dig up and critically review Wendigoon's Dr. Seuss fanfic? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. If I find it, I will probably do that. Which director would you love to see take on a Star Wars project? I mean, Denis Villeneuve. With Greg Fraser as the director of photography? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Can you imagine? That would be amazing. That would look- that would be so fucking good. Okay, now what am I supposed to do? I'm moving it toward the moon, right? That's how this is supposed to end. No, too high, too high. There we go. I know all opinions are subjective, but Arcane is a masterpiece, and that's just a fact. No, no, you're right, you're right. Cook my goat and all that. What else am I supposed to do? Oh. No, wait, yeah, what else am I supposed to fucking do? I feel, I feel like I've done everything. Do I need to just get... I know Obi-Wan needs to be here. What's this? Nope. What am I forgetting? should get into God of War and watch a YouTube video essay about it. Uh, oh yeah. Um, should I, should I recommend your video essays about it? Uh, even though you've been a meanie head to me, Daigon? There we go. go. Go check out Daigon's channel. He's got, he's got some good videos on there. Okay. Guess I'm supposed to go in here. There we go. Woohoo! That is gonna be it for me, though, because you guys are meanies. You're, me you're meanie heads. You make me sad and make me mad. You make me frown and you make me stomp. God of War is peak, so I'm told. Um, of course, if this game is enough to fucking, like, stump me, then anything like God of War is gonna be way too mentally challenging. So, you know, we'll see what, I guess. Barely some, because there's only two. Yeah, but you know what? Daigon still got some good videos on his channel, so check him out. Um, you know, you can just you can find him in the chat. He's right there. He's he's just fucking he's just hanging out. I'm excited for Arcane season two, though. Seriously, it's gonna be so fucking good. And if it's not, then I'm gonna scream and I'm gonna yell, and I'm probably gonna emotionally abuse like customer service employees. So, you know, there's a lot riding on this. Scribble mods is hard. <laughs> um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, this has been Sheev Talks. 
with uh, talks about uh, and also Clone Wars. <laughs>